Hey everybody, um, welcome back. <laughs> it's been a while since I've posted a video. I've had, well I still have, quite a bit of um, recorded video that I have to edit and get up. And then I also broke my camera, so I mailed that away. Hoping to have it fixed. I mean, it is in the same state, but with the way mail has been going, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see when I get my camera back. Um, anyway, I think I was working on a page in my um, vintage junk journal that I've been using Nature Bits in, and it was drying, so I wanted to do something else. So I just grabbed a piece of music sheet that I had next to me and I just felt like gluing and gluing paper and using inks and stuff so I didn't really know where I was going with it. I thought maybe I would create a master board for ATCs or something but I just kind of just started gluing things that were around me down um, that's um, vintage sewing pattern tissue paper which I really like the yellowy brown tone of. Oh yes, this was the day I did, um, oh, I can picture the <laughs> video, I think it's up, but my finger. I had a splinter in there so you can see it's sore so that's why I'm holding it at a weird angle and those were the one of the um, acrylic inks I bought on clearance I'm trying to use that smushing it around and of course that paper gets saved and gets used for something at some point didn't really know what I was doing just playing piece of paper, that music paper that I was um, soaking up some of the wet spots with is so old and brittle, it just crumbles in your hand. And you can see I had to pick up the pieces, two pieces, and I have my graphite pencil, I think I was just trying to get some drops at first down and I was going to spritz them, but then that wasn't doing enough, so I just went through and scribbled all around. And then I grabbed the gesso, I think it's a yeah, super heavy gesso. Um, it was just too busy, so I needed to knock some of it back a bit. That's kind of my go-to with the palette knife. Picking up some of the super globular bits. Hey kitty. I don't know if you can hear the cat. He just jumped on my lap. He's burning. Which means he's probably going to bite me soon. Then I saw some, well saw some, I had some um, pressed flowers and leaves and bits on the desk. So I thought, hey, why not stick those down? Those are leaves from cow vetch. I really like those. I need to go get pressed some more of those before they're gone.
And then some other greens, but I'm not sure what they are. Well, I know what they are, I just don't know what they're called. A picture of the flower they came from. I think this was before I pressed them before they had flowered at all. space because I know I'm going to cut it up so I want there to be interest on each piece. I don't know what size I'm cutting it down to yet but I have to figure out a better way to store my flowers. I have an idea of making a book with like um, parchment paper in it that kind of separates in little pockets and stuff so I can kind of keep them in there and separate. Right now they're in a bucket and they're getting ruined so that system is not going to work. I think I fast forwarded this video um, two times speed, double speed. Hi, Kitty, again. Hi. Um, when I do just the music, I usually go four times as fast, but trying to talk through that is a little hard. I tend to be behind the uh, video, so, because I knew I wanted to do a voiceover. Okay, you're going to fall. Ow. Um, what was I saying? Because uh, I wanted to do a voiceover, I thought I would just do double speed. If you want it faster, you know, there's that button down there that you can use to speed it up. Then I'm going to cover it up um, with some more of that tissue paper, the uh, pattern paper. That will seal in the floral bits and age the whole thing. Or make it look aged, I should say. put way too much um, matte medium down. It's right now I'm using Liquitex um, liquid matte medium or fluid matte medium, whatever it's called. Let's see. I'm gonna get that out. Oops. No, it just says matte medium. No, fluid, fluid medium. And I have it in a dish soap bottle so that it doesn't glue the cap shut, it's easy to pour. Fixing that corner by adding another piece and then trying to spread that glue out on that medium. Using the brush to push it down in spots I don't want air bubbles. I want it to make contact. And this is this tissue paper is pretty strong, so I wasn't as concerned about ripping it. Um, I use other tissues later and napkin bits on other master boards, and I do rip it in here places. But this is pretty strong stuff. Just kind of wiping off the glue and putting it on the palette to my side, my paint palette. Which is a glass plate <laughs> that I got at the dollar store. Mm -hmm. 
These master boards take forever to dry. I start drying them with the heat gun and then just get bored and annoyed, so I put them aside overnight. Um, but I really like doing it, it's fun. And I really, uh, I turned them into postcards, which is obvious from the title. And then when I, this wasn't, this was the first master board I made. It wasn't the first set I used when I made the postcards. Um, but when I started doing it, I just really liked it. It was fun making the postcards. So I've done quite a few sets. I think I'm going to bind them into a book. And this is the first postcard I made from this master board. And I had a magazine image of her, and it was too large, and then I think this one was too small. I photocopied it, so um, I go off and make another copy. Or maybe that one had lines in it, because I think I had to um, do a nozzle cleaning on the printer. I think that's what it was with this one, so I think that's why I reprinted that one, because it looks about the same size to me. So, fussy cutting. I'm not that fast. I edited that out. And plus it sped up, like I said. <laughs> oh, I think, I, yeah, I did make another copy that's larger, I think. I'm looking at the postcard in front of me. I think I end up not using that when I cut out. I could be wrong. That's from a vintage collectibles magazine. I had a bin of, oh goodness, I've been trying to clean up my art space and de-stash and just consolidate and I have magazine bits everywhere and I when I go through I harvest them and keep the full page and then I fussy cut them but I was like I just want to get rid of all these magazines and all these loose pages. I don't have time to fussy cut all of them right now so I ended up just kind of cutting like out of the main page just partially cutting pictures out and just putting them in a separate bin for my fussy cut ones and I had that next to me and that's what I was going through adding um, pictures to the postcards so that's what the vase is from and I don't know if that was just too much information and you don't really care but that's just going through my process and sometimes it's just about like the stuff that's around you um, so I'm trying to make everything kind of visible to use because I have to see it to think to use it, I guess. And so having those images next to me just kind of inspired what I was doing. I thought that postage stamp was too bright white, so I aged it up, grunged it up a little bit with the um, Distress Ink. And to glue it down, I'm using um, Golden gel matte medium not because it's the best product for this normally I'd use the liquid one but it is getting super thick and drying out so I wanted to try to use some of it up I don't use it enough and I don't know if I'll buy it again though it is good to have on hand when you're doing something heavy but um, yeah, I thinned it out with water, so it was more like a liquid matte medium. I guess I didn't reprint her. For some reason she looks bigger on the postcard in front of me, but I'm gluing her down, so... And these were... These postcards were cut slightly below, um, slightly less than four by six. So I put them on a four by six piece of, well, cut down file folder and um, did some sewing on it. And I like that look. And the only reason I had cut that down to less than four by six was because the full piece of paper wasn't big enough to get four out of it at four by six. But um, I ended up liking the way that worked out, so I 
I've intentionally done it since then. And I end up inking the edges later, but I think I'm done with this postcard for now. some fussy cutting again I hope I edit it out uh, she was from the cover of a Victorian Victorian trading post catalog I think that's what it's called and of course it was way too big so I scanned it and made her smaller but I know she was too small so I did end up um, doing another one slightly larger first one was too big second one was too small third one just right <laughs> So yeah, she had too much space around her. For a She's like the focal point, so it just felt like she was going to get lost. I think I already knew I wasn't going to use her, but I just wanted to cut the words out for later use. I think I just set her aside and went and got another one. I guess I made you watch me cutting her out. Sorry about that. I'm not going back and editing it. Editing it. Yeah, edit. I can't say it. Editing it again right now. I just have too much video footage to deal with. I can't. I just can't. Okay, she's working a lot better. I was trying to figure out if I wanted to use a different back. Did I? Yep, I did. I ended up using that one. Trying to figure out best composition. Since she's being glued down, I didn't mind cutting into her arm to take off that space. But I think I end up cutting that whole spot off anyway because I cover it up. to fold it over so I could see what it looked like. I couldn't visualize it. bits of stuff that's been pulled out and next to me um, that's probably about as much workspace as I have on the whole desk because it just starts to crowd me It's like some of my favorite book text. I love how dark it gets. It's pretty brittle. Some of these, some of these old miniature books, what are they called? Little blue books. Um, they're super brittle. They, they're falling apart, so I don't feel bad using them. But I love how dark they get when I add glue to them. I don't know if I said that already. Where are they from? It doesn't have a date.
nope, don't like it. <laughs> Thought I might want a different color pair, but nope, wanted the green one. And that 50 cents ephemera, faux ephemera piece down in the bottom just doesn't make it. It's too light, I think. Yeah. And that's what ends up staying. So that's the composition that I go with. watch how like just yummy that gets when I put liquid on it and glue it down. There it is. Um, I use, I have an inkjet printer and that's what I use and I don't know why it, the ink doesn't seem to run. I've had a couple things run a little bit when I add um, wet glue to them, but I tend not to have a problem and those were just printed out so it's not like they've sat for a while either. Sometimes the color will change a little bit. Um, I feel like blues tend to come out a little bit more, but it doesn't smear, so I'm not sure why that is. But it is an inkjet printer that I'm using for these anyway. I do have a black and white laser printer. There's lots of texture in the background, so she has like a line down the middle when she's dry from a stem of something under her, I think. Maybe not. Maybe that was just a wrinkle, but I know on one of them, oh, this one, one of the, the next one, there's texture because of the foliage underneath. Using the baby wipe to smush it down, trying to get it like around all that texture, just kind of trying to get any air bubbles out if I can. where I'm inking up the edges. I don't do any of the sewing machine stuff on video, so you'll see the stitching at the end when I show the still images. And that's pretty much it for postcard two, I think. And the next one, I didn't get all of it recorded. I think that maybe I ran out of storage. Um, or my battery died and I didn't want to stop doing what I was doing so if you don't see the whole process on this one you do see that end result um, at the end. <laughs> this 
looking for some images. I want a person as my focal point. using, I think it's Annie Oakley. I could be wrong. I think it's Annie Oakley. I didn't think you watched me cut it. I guess I made you watch me cut it a little bit. Sorry. <laughs> and I think this is getting pretty close to where I ended. Um, or where the, not where I ended, but where I stopped filming it accidentally. So you'll see. That two card didn't make, was it two? Oh my goodness, I've already forgotten. Whatever number card that was, wasn't on the final result. And the last card I made from that master board, I'm working on. So I was watching this footage, it kind of cracked me up how badly I seem to want to use that fish. <laughs> it didn't make it. Need another pair. I decided to have fruit in all of them on that set. I didn't have a pear in the first one, but there was pe uh, peach and plum, I think, in the faux ephemera card. So I kind of wanted to have that theme throughout. I don't know why, I just did. don't know why I don't just take that fish off. It does not work. I don't know why I wanted to use it so badly. Give up with the fish. Let it go. Use it another day. You can see when I flick my hand, like, nope, not using it. Nope, not using it. Like, it's a big flick. Like, absolutely not. <laughs> I find it funny to go back and watch because I know exactly what that flick means. Oh, you can see the two card there, so obviously I didn't use it.
that came from a book I have. I did copy it because it was too big in the book, so I shrunk it down. It's from a coin anyway. Okay, now this is going in the direction I want. This is working for me. Um, insects. So I'm gonna use that fly thing. That bug next to it. We saw one that my husband had one on his finger yesterday that looked almost like that. I've never seen anything like it. Not quite exactly like that. It was kind of wider and shorter, but it was cool. And some more coloring. After I put that down, I want something to kind of match that orange of the um, body of the fly thing. <laughs> so I end up looking for postcards for that. Oh, I'm using some of that paper I like. Same as I used in the other one. It turns brownish or darker. Glue it gets glued. Might have been from the same piece. I don't know. Yep, like that. So now I need something to go with that orange. Nope, too red. <laughs> Just trying to find stuff that's already out on my desk. I'm not sure why I'm thinking I like that one. It might be a size thing. Because the colors were wrong. And then it's time to get my stamps out. Start looking through them for some more of that color. I don't like you to watch me do that. I know I don't. There we go. So kind of what I pulled out as options. Too red. Too small and too light. <laughs> too small, maybe? Or do I use that one? No, I don't use that one. There we go. Just right. Stupid fish. <laughs> That's the uh, composition I decided to go with. I don't know why I find that so satisfying when the glue hits that paper. It just makes me happy. Uh oh, I have to go. I have some upset birds outside. Well, I just got back in and I hear squawking again. <laughs> oh well. Um, yeah, I don't know if there's anything much else to say actually about what I'm making. Um. <laughs> so I have four guinea fowl and they're not full grown. They're still, still babies but they're getting bigger and we decided to let them free range the last few days while we're home and see how it goes. And it's actually been going fairly well, but they're mostly quiet while they're out foraging, you know, just little chirps here and there, whatever you want to call them. But then all of a sudden they'll just let out the loudest racket and <laughs> I can't even describe the noises that they can make. <laughs> Even when they were super little, when they started squawking, it was, oh, it pierced my ears. But they are fun, fun, fun birds. <laughs> and hopefully they're going to take care of all the ticks around. But I can hear one of the females buckwheating. The call that only the female does. I went out to check on them and they were just out there not really doing anything. I have no idea what was causing them 
to make the noise, but it's fun because they start running to me now because they know that I might have some mealworms for them. And that's the uh, composition on that one. And I take it to the sewing machine like I did the other three, which I don't show until the end. You'll see that. Um, on the one that you didn't see, um, the end of it, I added a stamp to it in one of the pairs. I also ordered this German, vintage German paper tape that I got from Boston Bag Lady. I love it. It's so cool. I'll um, post a link down below. Um, I got it on Etsy. I don't know if I just said that or not. And um, in a couple minutes, not a couple minutes, hopefully, a couple seconds, few seconds, we'll see the pictures of all of them. So I have quite a few more videos to edit, so hopefully you'll come back and check those out. And thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye. You and me were meant to be in the great outdoors forever. to be